think when when creating albums, there's always something missing from previous stuff. That's why you make a new one, I guess. I mean, I want to move in music and I like to vary myself as much as possible. I, I mean, I, I don't want to do the same song and the same album over and over again. I want to make something new every time. You should never underestimate your audience. I mean, the listeners, people listening to music should be, I mean, why shouldn't they be open for new stuff and different stuff than before? I mean, there's a lot of stuff that could be inspiring for me. Often you don't even know, actually. You get an idea for a song, and you don't know where it's coming from. So for me, it's often like I do something completely else. Maybe I, I'm on the tram or I'm... Often I'm like going somewhere. And that's when <laughs> I get an idea. I have a lot of voice memos on the phone with short short little ideas and sketches of ideas. Everything you see and hear, in some way, it, I mean, it gets in your brain and moves around and, and all of a sudden you have this, your own idea, but it's like a collage of like a lot of different things. I don't want to write lyrics just to fill out the void of not having lyrics. I want the lyrics to mean something. I mean, it could be uh, like a funny story or something, but I want the lyrics to have some substance to them. Way back, it, it used to be, and it still can be, really difficult to, to write lyrics. All of a sudden, I found this way of writing that made everything much easier for me. Uh, and that's with like the kind of storytelling thing uh, started out for me. So I think I'm gonna hang on to that because it's really, it, it makes it really much easier for me to create something and that I enjoy. <laughs> the song that in one way or in many ways means the most to me would be Spray It because it's a personal song and it's about myself and my family. So Spray It. <laughs>